So this is different type of question. What is given here? The cost of 20 liter of milk is rupees 500. Find the cost of 59 liter of milk. Now they have mentioned 20 liter of milk is rupees 500. What will be the cost of 59 liter? So in this type of question, we're gonna go. We're gonna use unitary method. Unitary method means we're gonna find out for one value, and then we're gonna find out for the rest of it. Now let's add on what is given here. So they have given cost of 20 liter milk which is equal to rupees 500 we have to find out for the one liter now it may confuse you which number to be multiplied which number to divide what to do it's very simple do one thing we have given 20 liter is equal to 500 right so we want one liter here so we're going to transpose 20 to the other side so liter will be equal to one liter or liter is same it's a, if there's no number here it means it's a one is there so one liter will be equal to 500 divided by 20 just transpose 20 to the other side in case it's confusing you which number to be get divided or multiplied or with what number you have to divide you can do in this way so 500 divided by 20 so this 500 rupees we're dividing into 20 liters we're going to get the one cost of one liter here um, let's do it so let me write down the question here uh, the statement so given the cost of 20 liter of milk is for rupees 500 then the cost of 1 liter milk will be equal to rupees 500 divided by 20 I just explain you how we got 20 so cancel the zeros here cancel 2 and 50 you will get 2 ones are and then 2 25 is a 50 so this is equal to rupees 25 so we have got that for 1 liter it is 25 rupees then for 59 liter what will be the cost so you have to just multiply 1 liter we got 25 rupees so for 59 liter it will be multiplication so 59 into 25 so cost of 59 liter milk will be equal to we have to just multiply that so rupees 25 multiplied by 59 so you can multiply 59 and 25 it will be equal to 1000 1475 rupees is a cost so this type of questions can come where you have to find out for the one value and then find out for the rest we're going to use a unitary method